Hello, and welcome to the Chicago Trabian Citations module. And in this module, we'll cover the notes bibliography system for Chicago Manual. So to get started, I wanted to show you a variety of footnotes. So here are some examples of footnotes. Now in a footnote, you'll use a numbered system, one starting with one and going up and then citing each of the sources in the text of your paper when you talk about that source. So rather than having an in-text citation like you might in APA or MLA, you'll use a little number and the first one will say one right next to the text it's referring to. Then the footnote at the bottom of each page will have the footnote content for the citation. So for a book, you can see it'll be the author's names followed by the title in italics and then the publication information including the date as well as the page numbers you're referring to for that part of your paper. An edited book is similar. It just includes the editor as well as the author if there are both. For journal articles, here are two examples. You can see that the general layout is the author's name, the title of the article, then the italicized journal title, followed by the volume number and then the issue number, the date of publication, and then the page number you're referring to, and then an access date if you're accessing it online. And you should, if you're accessing it via the library databases, use a stable URL or when it's available, you should include the DOI number for that article. Moving on to newspaper articles, you can see the author's name is there followed by the article title, the journal title or newspaper, and then location of the publication, the date, and then for websites, this is the general layout for a website. You'll include the first and last name for the author, the title of the website, or the web page, I'm sorry, the name of the website, the publishing organization if there is one, and then a publication or revision date when available. If there isn't that, then you can include an access date, and then of course the URL. So here's an example of a footnote for a website. You can see the author's name, the title of the website in this case, so it's the overall website rather than a specific web page within it, followed by the publication, the publishing organization information, and the date, and then the URL. Finally, if you're trying to cite a primary source from a digital library, for example, you would use this method. And in this case, you can see this is mammoth ivory called the swimming reindeer from the 11th millennium BCE. And then it includes size information. So this is actually a sculpture from, made from mammoth ivory. And you can see it's from, located in the British Museum in London, England. You'll have to include similar information for items like this that you might find in a digital library. So that's a very quick overview of some of the sources that you might want to cite in footnote forms. Next, we will be going over the bibliographic citations that you'll include at the end of your paper in addition to the footnotes.